What a great day we had at FNB Stadium to welcome Banyana Banyana back into the country with the big trophy for the first time ever. We're so proud of them. It's a big moment um, for South Africa, but also for Johannesburg. It's wonderful that they came through to meet with the first female mayor of Johannesburg, democratically elected, them being the first female winners of the Women's Africa Cup. That's incredible. Um, we're really excited for all the women in Johannesburg. This is a sign. It, uh, it is our time. Um, you know, the, the, the stage is ours. It's really up to us to put our hands up and do what we need to do. Really proud of them and I'm really proud of them also speaking up and being a voice for gender equality. Something that's also very close to our hearts is the Joburg multi-party government. And I want to give them the assurance that we will continue supporting them, we'll root for them and we will join their voice so we have a stronger voice for all the women in Johannesburg to keep growing and for us to be treated equally as men because we're equally wonderful. I think firstly uh, we just need to congratulate uh, these young ladies for a phenomenal achievement. Uh, they've created history and uh, that history is going to go down uh, you know, in future for young girls to know that uh, they can win and they can make a difference. Uh, they've given us hope as a country, they've given us that, that euphoria that we've been missing, you know, having come from a, a very depressed uh, economy, um, having come from uh, uh, a, a, a COVID uh, economy that uh, has really ravaged uh, uh, businesses, they're giving us that element of hope to say it is possible, you know, whatever you can dream and you can make happen. And I think what, what seems to happen here and what can happen here is the development of sports uh, and women's sports in particular. So it gives us that opportunity to really go down to the grassroots and, um, and really focus on development of uh, uh, female and women's sports, uh, especially in the grassroots and the townships. And that uh, has to have an element of uh, investment coming in. So you can start to hope that once we, the league is created as it is uh, touted to be, it's what will bring uh, economic uh, growth, uh, will not contribute at least to the economic growth of, uh, of the city because now we're starting to get that engagement. They've set the bar for us in winning this competition and they've challenged us as community development and as sports and recreation to do so much better for our uh, kids in, in the townships, at our recreation centres, on our sports fields. We need to do so much more. Uh, because these girls have shown to us that uh, if you dedicate yourself, if you're committed to your craft, um, if you set your heart on something, you can achieve much. But it's not only about that, you know, it's about the, the symbolism of this win. Uh, because here you have team players that are, are working together to achieve so much. We need to, as a team of community development and the city of Johannesburg, how do we gel to provide the best possible service to our citizens?